we're looking through is what is called the what? Pupil. And of course, all holes allow things to what? Pass through. So in this case, the pupil, a hole, will allow the light rays to what? Pass through. Or through, rather. Now the iris itself. Now the iris is like a little bodyguard. Wherein the iris will determine how much light can pass through your eyes. Now later on in the lesson you will learn that when you're in light, bright light, the iris, muscles of the iris will cause the pupil to become small, therefore controlling the amount of light to enter the eye. And when you're in dark light, the iris the muscles will cause the iris to allow the pupil to expand, getting what? Bigger and therefore allowing more light to enter the eye. So therefore, what the iris does, it controls the amount of light passing through the pupil. Aqueous now, the fluid. Now this fluid now allows the inside of the eye to become a bit more denser than the what? Outside. Now, if you were to place your pencil or pen or whatever, in a glass of water, clear glass of water, you will notice that the pen or pencil appears to bend. Why that is happening? Simple because there's a difference in density. Now, the air on the outside is less dense than the, than the water. So therefore, you'll find that there's a change in density that is based, resulting in some kind of bending or refraction so therefore this substance helps in the bending of light rays all right good and it also helps to maintain the shape of the eye both it and the virtuous um, humor so the virtuous humor and the aqueous humor they both assist in refraction of light and they help to keep the eyeball shape. Now the lens, a very special structure of the eye. Now most of you have seen persons wearing spectacles. You know, some people have some big, some glasses with big um, lens in it, thick lens. Now do you know the purpose of the lens? All right. Now the lens actually allow it helps to focus the light rays onto another structure called the retina All right now the lens itself it can change its appearance or its shape it can become thinner and it can remain bulgy as you can see right here so what the lens does it becomes more or less convex to focus light on the retina now that is important for you to see this lens right here now the ciliary muscles what the ciliary muscles do now these muscles basically they will contract and they will relax now when they contract or when they relax what they basically do is to change the shape of the lens so these muscles helps to you know change the shape of the lens now another structure which is this right here as you, if you look at my finger pointing right here it is called the suspensory ligament now what does the sense suspensory ligament do now the suspensory ligament all it simple do is simple this it holds the lens in what place so it keep basically holds the lens in what place now if you look up the word suspensory it simply means what support so the ligament basically supports the lens. Now, the conjunctiva. Now, many of you have heard about pink eye. Anybody out there have pink eye? Sure. Now, another word for pink eye is the conjunct con conjunctivitis. Now, what does the conjunctiva does? Now, simply. However, what it does, it, it stops the entry of grit. So therefore, if it's going to stop grit from getting into your eye or dust particles 
from getting into your eye it is basically what protecting the eye don't you think so yes man i know you agree with me so the conjunctiva protects the eye by not allowing a lot of grit to enter because sometimes some of it enter all right now and basically in description it is a thin membrane now another structure the retina now just like in the skin the skin itself has a re several receptors the pain receptor the pressure receptor and the temperature receptor now the eye now has its own receptors and that is called what the retina so the retina is the eyes receptor what receptor does it receives um, information from the what stimuli and then there is the, re the receptor will convert this the stimuli into an electrical what impulse now the retina is made up of two different types of cells one is the rod it's called rods and the other is called cones now when you're in like you're walking in the night with a girlfriend or your boyfriend on the, it, 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 when the stars are out there and the stars they're not necessarily that bright now the moonlight is not necessarily that bright it's basically dim so what helps you to see in that light condition is the rods so if you do have the rods you can't see nothing at all in the dark right but the cones now on the other hand those cells now helps you to see things in what bright light all right good all right now this structure now the optic nerve now the optic nerve after the retina the rece which is which is a receptor converts the stimuli to electrical impulses then the optic nerve will carry those impulses to the central nervous system so tell me then the optic nerve is an example of what yes it's an example of the what sensory neuron or sensory nerve so the optic nerve is also a sensory what nerve so what the optic nerve does it transmits nerve impulses to the brain very good and that's it for the eye all right so now we're going to look at more about control of light entering the eye now here we have this is our light source and this is representing our eye now the space between these two ends obviously is the what pupil so obviously these two ends right here is the what iris now notice now that the light rays are moving in the direction towards the pupil now i'd like for you now to look at, as, at what is happening here okay now as the light rays move towards the pupil you realize that the size of the pupil becomes what smaller because what happens right here is that the circular muscles of the iris will contract causing the pupil to become small therefore not allowing a lot a lot sorry of light rays to enter the eye now this is going to be our light filter now what light source do you think this would be yes the moon let's pay attention good so the light now becomes what dimmer now if you notice now that in dim light the size of the people becomes what bigger so that more light trees can actually what enter you see that gets bigger and more light rays entering very good now it is the radial muscles of the iris that contracts and that causes 
the pupil to become large, therefore allowing a lot of light to enter. Simple. So, in summary, the circular muscles are responsible for the eyes becoming small in bright light and the radial muscles are responsible for the light the pupil sorry to become large allowing a lot of light to come in so when one muscle is contracting the other is relaxing and there we go another example of antagonistic muscles all right so now we're going to look at the formation of images basically how images are formed Can you identify this? Okay, it's a what? Wrench. What color is the wrench? Ah, brown. Now, let us note now that whenever light hits an object, the light rays will reflect or bounce off. So here it is. They're bouncing off. Good. So you notice now that the light rays bounce, it reflects off this object here and then traveled in a straight line and remember that as it enters the what? Cornea and the aqueous humor, it will what? Reflect, refract or bend. So you realize that bending? Good. So they will bend. And as they bend now, you'll have a focus point right here and then guess what? an image will be formed on the retina now i am going to ask you to pause the video right here and take the can and you're going to make yourself a pinhole camera now all you're going i'm going to read the steps in the activity make that pinhole camera and then you observe now watch this now Notice now that the same thing that happened on your paper bag is what is happening on the retina. So in your little activity, the paper bag is representing the retina and the upside down light is representing the image formed. As you can see, see, it's upside down. So the images are normally what? Upside down. Now tell me something. Can you imagine if you never have a brain? Everything you will see is upside down. And trust me, some persons when they're reading them see things upside down too. Sometimes I wonder if they have a brain, eh? Alright. But anyway, we I think we all have a brain. You have a brain too? I know you have a brain. Alright, so that is how images are actually what? Form. So basically, it starts out with the, ref the reflection of light rays traveling in a straight line and then bends and then the lens now will what? focus it on the retina so you have to mention two things reflection of the light rays then refraction of light rays and then the focusing of the light rays by the lens onto the retina now accommodation now can you tell me what the word accommodation means yes to accommodate what does to accommodate means all right, let me give you a little example. Say, for example, um, you have a guest. And, you know, you look at your watch and you realize it's getting late. Like now, 10 o'clock. And he said, well, the guest asks you, if you, can you accommodate me for the night? And then they say, well, um, all right, I'll accommodate you. Meaning that they will what? Find space for you. They'll hold you right there. Or they will make changes just to facilitate you staying there so the act of making changes to facilitate something to happen that's the principle that we're going to look at making changes for something to happen all right let us see how the eye carries out this principle of accommodation once again we have the wrench Right now, I want you now to pay close attention to the shape of the lens and also look at 
the condition of the suspensory ligament. What you observed a while ago? Did you see that? All right, let's try it again. All right, before we go to that, note that the wrench was right here before, don't it? So the distance has what? Change. So we are talking about changes now, don't it? And guess what after that? Good. So even though the where the the, 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 the distance of the wrench has changed, you are still able to see. Now, how does the eyeball facilitate that? Simply, if you noticed before that the lens was what? Bulged, but now it becomes what? Thin. True? So, the further away an object is, is the thinner the lens will become to facilitate that change in distance for you to see the thing still. Good? And then now, the suspensory ligament will also stretch in order to facilitate changing the shape of the lens for it to become what? Thinner. So the further an object is away, right, from the eye, is the thinner the lens will become. Notice. Very good. And then the suspensory ligament will also stretch. And that is basically what happens. So the wrench is like the guess. Now the wrench was close to the eye before and then the, 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 the host was bulged. But now the wrench is going to move away, decide to stay over late at night. So guess what? The lens have to facilitate that change and still allow you to see. So how it facilitate that change? By simply changing its shape and becoming thinner and the suspensory ligament also stretch so that's what we mean by accommodation facilitating the changing distances and also enabling you to see no matter how near or far the object is let's read now are those any good perfect now i can see much better lens across the road Hmm. Now notice where the lady is. She's at a what? Tailored lens. It means that somebody who makes what? Lens. So this man makes lens and he's want to find out if the woman can see better. But let me ask a question. If she's going to say no, I can see much better lenses across the road. It simply means then she could not see across the road before. So it simply means that she could not see anything far away. So she's what? Short sighted. Good. Now explain why the client above could not see across the road. Let us find out why she could not see across the road. Long, well, let's look at long sighted first. Now, when a person is long sighted, the reason for that is simply this. First of all, their eyeball is what? Short. And another term for long sight is hyperopia. Good? Hyperopia. Now, what is hyperopia now? Now, notice something. That the object, let's just say the wrench was right here. Where should the image of the wrench fall? It should fall in the retina. But where did it fall? Fall behind the retina. And where was the point of focus? Behind the retina. So obviously this person will not see anything that is close to them. Good? So long sighted means that a person can only see objects far away, but not what? Close by. Alright? Now, how can we? allow this long-sighted person to see objects 
close by. No. So they, are, they have to wear glasses with what? Convex lens. Now what a convex lens does? Now the convex lens will converge the lens to converge the lenses which were diverging before, means that they were scattering all over the place, to cause the, to, to cause the lens to come, to come close together, and then now it will now allow the focus point to be on the retina, and the image itself will also what fall on the retina. So how this condition is corrected is by the use of a convex lens. And what the convex lens does, it converges the light rays causing you, or causing the image rather, to be formed on the retina so that you can see. Now, we are looking at what the lady was suffering from short-sighted remember she couldn't see nothing across the road that means uh, if the things were closer to her she could see them so she's short-sighted but what caused her not to look not to see anything across the road is that the woman eyeball was too long yes it was too long can you imagine that her eyeball was what too long so if you have a long eyeball then you become what short-sighted Now, what happens when a person is short-sighted? If you notice now that these lines are suggesting that the image is very, very far away. And guess what happens? The focus point is way before the what? Retina. Right? So, therefore, the image will fall before the retina and not on the retina. Now note, for you to see something, the image must fall on the retina. In a, for a person who is short-sighted, when they are looking at objects far away, their focus point will be before the retina and hence the image is formed before the retina and not on the retina. So if it doesn't fall on the retina, obviously the person will not see. Now, another name for this condition is called myopia. Alright? Question now. How is this condition corrected? Simply, by the use of a concave lens. So you realize the, the lens basically caving, and that's why they call it what? concave lens now what the concave lens does it causes the lens to what diverge and while sorry it causes the light rays to actually what diverge so you realize it's basically um, spreading so when it spreads now it allows you it, it, it helps now the lens now to focus the light rays on the what? Retina. So how this condition is actually corrected is by the use of a concave lens, meaning that your glasses must have concave lens and these concave lens will cause light rays to diverge and hence forming the image of the object that is far away on the retina. Clear? Very good. So that is how it's basically corrected. Now we're going to another system. So we have just completed the nervous system and the eye. So now we're going to the endocrine system. Note, students, the video may be a bit too long. So my suggestion to you is simply this. You can pause the video right here summarize everything that you have just learned before you know make up some questions and answer them 
or take a break you don't have to watch the video straight out pause right here all right but for those persons who can continue let's continue okay endocrine system now now i'm going to use this section of the lesson just to help you to identify the positions of glands endocrine glands now the first one now the, the hypothalamus is not really a gland but you know it controls water balance and temperature the pituitary gland is otherwise called the master gland because it is the master of all other glands and it gives instructions to all other glands to secrete a chemical messenger called a hormone now this right here just within the, the region of the neck is called the what thyroid gland now above the kidneys as you can see we have a pair of glands called the adrenal glands and of course you can see the connection because you know you have the renal artery the renal vein so anything that links to renal anything that links to the kidney will have that so that suffix renal so add renal glands are just above the kidney and of course you have the pancreas now you know from previous lessons that the pancreas secretes two hormones insulin and glucagon and of course men only have what testicles and everybody know where the testicles are don't it good and then for the women we'll have what ovaries so these are examples of the endocrine glands and their location now i want you to listen carefully and look okay all right now this box here good is our duckless gland meaning that it doesn't have a duck <laughs> not a duck that make noise now now this yellow donut shape is our cell and this orange circular shape is our hormone and of course this rectangle coming downwards is called the blood and this blue oval shape is our what representing all our organs now observe what happens here all right now notice what happens the hormone leaves the cells of the ductless gland and then what is it enters the bloodstream and the blood carries this hormone to the organs that's simply what happens another scenario now john was walking on north street do you know where north street is okay and in a few seconds he heard shots bow 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 firing and then quickly ran in the opposite direction explain what happened inside john's body to cause him to move so swiftly but before we go into the explanation let us analyze the situation here now john heard shots so these shots were what stimuli and which sense organ did he use to hear these shots his ears yes so messages traveled from his ears and went where to the central nervous system but which part of the central nervous system it went to the spinal cord because what the response was what quick and automatic no so so this is what going to happens now now it is not only the central nervous system that plays a part in john's response to the to the bullets that he heard another system also plays a part let us now look at the other system and how it plays a part all right now the adrenal gland 
has an hormone called adrenaline good now here is the heart which is the organ involved and we have the liver and we have the muscle now for john to run so fast he needs the muscles to move his legs don't it very good all right let's pay attention to what's going to happen here now notice now before john heard the gun or the bullets being fired his heart was beating you know normal as usual just at its normal pace but look what happens when he hears the bullet start moving what very fast see notice moving very fast what caused the heart to move very fast well it is the adrenaline what hormone so when this hormone goes to the heart of course the heart is going to move to beat fast and if the heart is beating fast then blood will be what entering and leaving the heart at a quick pace but guess what remember now you know you have oxygenated blood entering the heart and leaving the heart and then that blood will carry oxygen and glucose to what different parts of the body including the what muscles and that is where uh, energy is also needed for these muscles to carry out its what function so watch this now now it says in summary hormones are chemical messengers which control the actions of the what organs as you can see note that the adrenal gland can be stimulated by the nervous system or the motor nerve cell as i told you before because he heard the gunshot with his his sense organ and it was taken the sent to the central nervous system and of course the central nervous system stimulated um the the adrenal gland to release the adrenaline hormone to cause the heart to beat faster so that notice now Let's look at it again. This black substance is what? Stored glucose. Good. And then the glucose, the, store, the, the glucogen was now converted to what? Glucose. All right. So if you notice now, the glucose was also carried by the blood to the muscle. And also the green substance represents oxygen so both glucose and oxygen were taken to the what muscle where cellular respiration will take place and if respiration takes place what will be released energy and this is the energy that the muscles now used to cause john to run swiftly right but as you can see look at it again the hormone is carried by the blood to the liver. Now, what happens to the hormone inside the liver? It disappears. Means that it died. So, the liver kills or destroys hormones. Good. Okay. So, now we are going to go to the quiz. Let's, what's our first question? Where are hormones destroyed? I just told you, didn't I? Number two, which type of cell stimulates the release of the adrenaline? I said it before. Number three, when a person is frightened, which substance increases the blood sugar levels? Okay, I told you too. And number four, which region of the brain controls balance and muscular coordination and i did tell you that so if just in case you did not remember the answers to these questions you write them down then replay the video and listen for the answers if you're sure you have the right answers you pause your video and call mr bernard and provide him with the answers and then he will tell you if you are correct or if you're wrong now we have come to the end of another CDP Maths Lab Teaching and Learning Center Human and Social Biology lesson 
and we want to say thank you have a lovely day and of course this lesson was created by so yours truly Monique yeah. Bernard yeah, you recorded by Leighton Smith education was saying no. Education, me a beg you revise where you learn from class. Me a tell you no, cause it's a hard, it's a task. Just give yourself a chance, and yes, he said that your grass where them tell you no. Go get your education, me a beg you revise where you learn from class. Me a tell you no, cause it's a hard, it's a task. Just give yourself a chance, and yes, he said that your grass where them tell you no. Love the machine, I better you go the cashier instead of you the panic corner and I get your head machine. The little youth them nowadays they need to learn for love for real and recognize for your survivor education and the key youth from judges. KC and JC, if I link your bad on me, the brook and papi, Calabar and don't know them till breed the news, I'm to pick up the two cause of the books, so no fear read and so get your education, me a beg you no revise where you learn from class, me a tell you no, cause it's a hard, it's a task, just give yourself a chance, and yes, you said that your grass where them tell you no, go get your education, me a beg you no revise where you learn from class, me a tell you no, cause it's a hard, it's a task, just give yourself a chance, and yes, you said that your grass where them tell you no. Where you learn from class, me a tell you no Cause it's a hard, it's a task Just give yourself a chance And yes, you said that your grass Where them tell you no Go get your education, me a beg you no Revise where you learn from class, me a tell you no Cause it's a hard, it's a task Just give yourself a chance And yes, you said that your grass Where them tell you no Now the machine, I better you go the machine Instead of you the panic on the hand I get your head machine The little youth, them nowadays They need to learn for love for real And recognize for your survivor Education and the key youth From judges, KC and JC If I link your I don't make a brook and papi Calabar and don't know them Till free the news I'm about to pick up the two Cause of the books So no fear read and So get your education Me a beg you no revise Where you learn from class Me a tell you no Cause it's a hard It's a task Just give yourself a chance And yes you said that your grass Where them tell you no Go get your education Me a beg you no revise Where you learn from class Me a tell you no Cause it's a hard It's a task Just give yourself a chance And yes you said that your grass Where them tell you no Back in all the school days, me used to have it hard, but me also go to school anyway. Mama never get beer, but that never stopped me from getting the education.
charity to the students, the students. Get a uniform press, pack your knapsack. Kim's a school of the thing, Prefect of Vinci. Make sure say you want to school.